اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Now T test and Z tests are commonly used when making comparisons. Comparisons between the mean of two samples or between some standard value and the mean of one sample. In one of the earlier lectures, we discussed that a particular company, an electricity company that produces bulbs, claims that their bulb runs for 1000 hours. So now that is a standard value. In order to check this claim, you will take a sample of bulbs being manufactured by that company. The hours they run for. And then you will add that data into SPSS. And then you are going to compare that particular sample to that standard value. There are two different varieties of t-tests. Which are used in different conditions depending on the design of the experiment or nature of the data. Which test are you going to use? It actually depends on the conditions, the design of the experiment or the nature of the data. T-tests are similar to commonly encountered Z-test in many ways. Both Z and T-test have the same rationale but use different assumptions, which require a careful selection depending on the requirements. For Z-test, the population mean and population standard deviation should be known. For T-test, you need sample. Now, so both the tests, the Z test and the T test are actually the same. Whereas Z test is applied on the population, the T test is applied on sample. Now, in many real life problems, while the population means, mean is known, the exact population standard deviation cannot be calculated. So, you cannot have the exact population standard deviation or the exact population mean because you cannot assess the whole of the population. You might have a standard value that you associate with the population. But the exact value is always difficult. In such cases, t-tests should be used because you do not have the population mean and standard value. So in that case, you are going to use t-test. Besides, the t-test does not require a big sample size. Many statistics experts or statisticians feel that with a sample size of 30 to 40, results of the t-test are very close to those obtained from the z-test. So you do not need your sample to be in hundreds or thousands for t-test. You can have a minimum sample size for each group should be at least 30. Now there are three different types of t-tests. One sample t-test, independent sample t-test and dependent paired samples t-test. Here is the reference. Thank you very much.